Hello everybody and welcome back to Dwellers in the Dark, the official site for the Middle Earth ETC. Okay, and so we're going to be doing an ETC video today. A nice and relaxed one, maybe not as, how to say, professionally stringent as the first one. Um, just want to talk through a few things. The first thing I want to talk about is T3 registration. Now, I'm not overly familiar with T3, it's called Tabletop Tournament. And if you type in tabletoptournament.net in any browser, I think it'll pop straight up. What is T3? Um, I actually don't know how to describe it, but a massive bowl of resources, uh, information um, on so many dis different systems. And T3 is something that we're going to be using within the ETC for registration and for, I believe, sending in um, army lists, etc. But well, let's just start with this re registration. So what I'm needing everyone to do is I need everybody in the team selectors of each country to actually register on T3 for starters. Anybody in the general public can also register on T3 because it is just a site that has vast resources over different systems. Once you're registered, I can then talk the selectors down through the process, which we're going to do in this video, should I say, on how to actually register their country's team uh, onto the actual event in advance of the cutoff date. And the cutoff date is the 15th of January. Why is the cutoff date like so? It's because we have to make sure that we have the funds in place to actually book the venues to book the hotels if necessary, etc., and get everything ready. Otherwise, we'll be racing around some of the deals and, and contracts that we've already uh, possibly put in place may come a thumble, so we need to get this done. Uh, remember, guys, no one's making any money out of it, so my pushing of this, my time into this, is really to guide you guys through how to register on T3, what T3 is all about, and how we're going to get it done. Okay, so we start off with, I'll uh, put a link to T3 down below the video. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to do links at the moment on YouTube videos, but I'm sure my old brain will work around it. Um, and I'll now talk through exactly the process. We'll put on some screenshots for you. Okay, so the first thing is, when you actually get onto Team 3, you'll have welcome and your name, log out, account, profile, options, tournaments, and organize. And they will be basically on the top left-hand corner. Um, if you've registered under a different country, um, it may be different uh, languages, so it's a bonus. Now, just on the um, left-hand column, you have change countries, and so you can choose your country. Now, this isn't the country that you're from. This is the country that you want to find the event in. So in this case, we're going to scroll down to Germany and... We're going to click on Germany and all the German uh, section will open up. And it's luckily it's in English maybe because I've actually registered English language so the whole system is coming up in, in, in English for me. So we go to tournaments, so you've got major uh, titles, tournaments, players, organisers, NTR slash ETR. I think that's a rating and a ranking system. Um, and below that then you have information and then about T3. So what is T3? So it would be actually quite handy if I went on to what is T3 and then read out the whole thing of what it's about. Um, but I'll leave that to you guys. So what I wanted you to do is go up to tournaments and under tournaments you will see home. Um, so that will bring you back to the main page. And then you want to do overview. Okay, click overview again. Actually, you didn't need to do home. So the overview now for Germany is has uh, register your own tournament to the map, tournament search. And then in the box below you have date, tournament, game system and location and seats. So that's November 2016 and so far you'll see um, over in the top right hand corner you'll see please select a game system. So click down. Now if you've actually put Lord of the Rings as one of your personal gaming systems, then it'll come up under your game system, so it's, it's easier to find. Um, but you scroll down and you find Lord of the Rings, slash The Hobbit, click on that, and then it will tell you the date. So November the 16th, Germany has 
one, two, three, four, five, six events this month. Then they have three events in December and then in January they've got one event and then the next section is April which has got two events. And the event you're looking for is the 28th of the 4th, 2017 Middle Earth ETC. And the code is 22457 Hamburg and there's five registered out of 76 seats. So straight away you're actually on to the section and you're ready for the next step. The next step is to click on Middle Earth ETC and that will open up with a full description of the Middle Earth ETC. It'll mention who the host organizers are and then it'll give you all the information. So game system, team size, what start, when ends, how many seats, the charge. Now there's 70 euros if you're not staying in the hotel and there's 175 euros if you're staying in the hotel and you want breakfast and the rigmarole that goes with that. So basically you just go down and you sign up um, with all your information and, and there you go. Now obviously this is for the team selectors to get a grip on how to work through the T3 uh, top table to tabletop tournament system. Um, the general public please do not register under your name um, yet wait until your team selector gives you time to do so because if if we see someone just registering and we have no way of knowing what country they're with and their team selectors come back and say that person will just delete you simples sorry <laughs> but you will just be deleted uh don't want to go read and roll through all of that but the idea of the t3 is that it will make everything a lot simpler for us now it isn't setting up exactly how army lists are done up but I'm going to speak to the whole country see how they want to do it but I'm quite happy for the army list to be sent uh, straight to me via my own email and I can go through the 76 army lists um, okay so why is it important that we get registered as the selectors get registered soon and why is it important that the teams get registered because once the teams have been registered then we can send out the details of how payment is made and all the other aspects that are that's very very important but again guys we really need this done by the 15th of January and um, that has to be the cutoff date that's the date that the hotels and, and the venue I think are um, are giving us at this moment um, that gives us a couple of months then after that to settle in and get everything organized though we are doing things at the moment Okay, so I'm just going to wrap this up. Please, any questions regarding the T3, don't hesitate to drop them in comments below. Um, though I'm a noob on it, I am registered, but though I'm a noob on it, uh, I'm still trying to get my head around it properly. It's not overly complicated. You just need, and I'll reiterate, the team selectors need to register themselves up, and then they can guide their teams on how to do it. Now, one last word if you go to change country the list of countries that are up here already are international that would be me and quite a few other people who haven't registered per country uh, germany austria switzerland netherlands belgium luxembourg poland france italy serbia and the united states but yet the united states hobbit scene isn't aware of t3 neither the canadians i don't believe the irish the northern irish the uh, scots the welsh or the english they don't seem to be aware of it i wasn't aware of it until very very recently so please all team selectors get yourselves on there and um, pass me any private messages you want because you have my private details uh, regarding any general public by all means get on there take a look at all the game systems that are on if you're suddenly deciding oh I'm, I'm taking a holiday to I don't know Barcelona uh, a certain date go on to T3 see if there's a tournament there whether it's Hobbit bolt action whatever loads of stuff please guys there is an ETC on there that is the existing ETC regarding Warhammer 40k etc that is not the Middle Earth ETC so please don't go down that route just go the route that I explained you won't go far wrong okay well listen I'll leave you at that I'm gonna get another video out very 
quickly as well and that's going to be based on a number of questions that have been coming in about various bits and pieces and some information how we're going to do um, game selection for the teams. Okay, cheerio and bye for now.